Hello everyone, Shantae here. Hope you guys are having a great day. So I want to come in and share with you guys a mini album that I made. Um, and it holds um, a little over 50 pictures, okay? So let's get started with what I use. I purchased this tutorial uh, from Paper Phenomenon. And she is the same lady that uh, created this book that I used on the last mini album. Uh... I think I said in the video that she does, um, you know, tutorials that you can print off or you just use on the computer. And then she has videos that you can purchase to buy, watch as well, which I don't do that. I just buy a tutorial that I want. Um, I'm saying this for my, for the new people who don't know, may not be aware of who Kathy is. She's Pay Phenomenon, PayPhenomenon.com. And this, um, this is how you spell it. Okay, and this tutorial is called the 4x6 Perfect Pick Mini Album Duo. And I bought this because um, this is strictly for photos, no junk, no junking it up or anything like that, which is what I am leaning towards these days. You know, tomorrow may be something different, but right now I just wanted to, you know, just house the pictures. And most of the people that I create mini albums for, they don't know how to get around all of the embellishing and stuff that's on the page. So simple is best for the people that I deal with. Okay. So this is a duo because the tutorial shows you how to do it in landscape mode and portrait mode. Okay. So the, I'm saying all this for a reason. The, the disclaimer I want to put in is this. I followed this tutorial up until a part. And when you get, I did the, the covers and the spine but when I got to, um, I don't want to show any of her stuff. Hold on. Because I don't want any issues. Uh, but when I got to, um, where's the page? When I got to doing the inside of the covers, um, I had a problem with that. Because, and I'm going to show you what I mean if I can find it. Okay. I'm still flipping y'all. Okay. The problem I'm having is I got to this page right here and um, I had trouble seeing what was going on because it was done with black card stock. And I had, I went to back to my I printed this off, but I went back to my computer and blowed it up on the screen and I still couldn't get what she was saying. And see, like right here, it's in craft. And you can see very well what's, what's going on. So, um, the inside does not look like this because I could not make out um, what the pages were. And I was stressing out. It was it, it really irritated me to no end. But I, I, I used the um, Recollection 110-pound cardstock in black. And I don't have that many packs of that. So, um, what I decided to do was take what I had... What I cut out and just do it my, you know, just make it myself. And so, um, I would have to ask her, uh, I don't know if she did a you stream or not on the, on that particular book. So I can actually see what to do. Cause I wanted the pages to look like that. That's the reason why I bought the tutorial. But anyway, I used Sugar Chic and this, um, the 12 by 12. And this was inspired off the card I did in the last video. And so, um, I used a lot of papers up, but you know, of course it's, 54 sheets so I can make another one without a problem. And I use the cutouts, the 4 by 6 the 3 by 4 and then the little smaller cutouts. Use these. I use a lot of that. Okay? And then, um, let me show you real quick because I'm already at 4 minutes. Oh, my God. Okay. I use these from Hobby Lobby, the Big Frame, Prima Trim, Alex. This stamp set from Sweet and Sassy Stamp. This is, uh, what's the name? Uh, Majestic Monarchs. Right there. Uh, metal from Monica. Wood veneers from uh, Studio Calico. And then these Prima pieces right here. I keep my stuff like this in the glass jars you can get from Hobby Lobby. And um, this is the cover. All right, let me zoom in a little bit. 
Well, no, nah, I keep it like this. And then I use red line tape. I got tired of dealing with that. I was too lazy to get my yes paste. Red line tape. I got sick of using it. I started using this, which is awesome. I got sick of using it. Then I end up with the glue stick, and then I use another tape run. I just was getting sick of all of it. <laughs> all right, so anyway, um, this is the cover. Let me move this over here. Let's see, like you can see this. Okay, so this is the cover, and I just took um, some stickles and rubbed it on the frame and, and drew it around the frame and stamped it in um, brown ink. The sentiment. My cousin just got married, and I'm, I'm not for sure whether or not I'm going to give this to her or make her another one. But it says, happiness is a butterfly, which, when pursued, is always... I should have worn my glasses. <laughs> which is pursued is always just beyond your grasp, by, but which, if you will sit down quietly, may a light, a light upon you. And it's... Um, Hawthorne, Nathaniel Hawthorne. So that will happen is love, blah, blah, blah. So um, here we go. And so here is the cover um, right here. This came from the wedding section at Michael's. These are the acrylic rose flowers, the wood veneer, wild orchid craft uh, paper flowers, uh, wild orchid craft iron roses. Same thing right there. That's a fabric flower and the love from and I just stick with everything to death. This is the spine. Um, you can see the thing right here. Um, I used um, Hobby Lobby trim. And then this trim right here I got from Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. Which I need to hit either up and see if she has any more left. I need to get me some more of this because I don't have a lot of that. That um, trim right there. And the back right there. And this is how I did the binding. I left this on so you guys can see. I cut a little, I hold, um, held the trim like this and cut a little slit in it and stuck the hole from the, um, what you call these, eyelets in and, and uh, smash it together so it will be secured. And I just used this flower to cover up the hole in the front. And it just ties with the Prima trim. I love this um, trim. So again, this is for just for photos. Um, it's no, nothing is in here. Just for photos, okay? So I'm going to move real quick because I'm, I don't want to take up all y'all time. So this is the only piece of embellishment I put in the book. We'll see him buying in the front and in the back. Um, I, this is a pocket. I made these tags myself to just, to, you know, use up some more of the paper. And these have a gusset, like a little... The pocket has room because um of how it was made, like a pocket. And again... All you need to do is just, um, I made these, you know, using the paper. All you got to do is put the pictures on here. And this is, um, the, you know, this one, you can write on whatever, blah, blah, blah. And it just goes back in, back here, right here. Same concept. Of course, everything is the same. Okay, and then on this pocket, tags, nothing is on the back. I don't even know why I keep pulling them out. Those are the tags. <clears throat> okay, this side right here. I did cut that out, but I lowered it a little bit low, but just match the pitch on top. Same thing. And just in case I give this to my cousin, she can have this as a reference. Write a picture. Okay. Just slides back in. A picture goes right here as well. Okay. Come on. I missed that spine up. Picture goes right here. I think I messed up on that one. Same thing. And when I counted, I counted 50 some spots for pictures and stuff. So, um, oh, I lied. I put the little tag right there at the collection. We're seeing behind. I need to burn the edges on it. <clears throat> right here. Okay. 
Okay. Here we go. And like I said, this is the landscape mode of um the album. And um again I like it because um it's it's just for pictures, no no extra. Come on in here. Okay. No extra. And then this is the back where I used the I just made another little thing and put the same binder right here and the pitch can go right here. And then these are two other tags. Okay. And um yeah, the album was um was not a hard album. It just I didn't know what I was doing. And so um this is the bag. Um that's the part that took me for a loop. But like I said, I have to ask her. I hadn't asked her how I need to see how to do the um pages correctly but this is just my version i may not be off too off because i use the measurements and i just did my own thing so i wouldn't waste my expensive uh paper all right and this how i close it would be way um it wouldn't be as bulky uh you know i try to avoid alligator mouth and stuff like this but it would be as bulky if i didn't use the 110 card stock for the base and the pages but i want it to be nice and thick so, yeah, that's my book, you guys. So, you guys have a great day, and I will be back um, with some more projects. It's, it seems like I'm on a little roll. <laughs> All right, so you guys have a blessed day, and I will – don't – I hope this one in the – I bet this in the whole video. Mm. All right, you guys have a, a great video – not a great video. <laughs> oh, great. I need to go to sleep for church. Y'all yeah, have a great day, <laughs> and I'll be back with another video. Alrighty. Okay. Bye-bye.